What's going on? I'm John, and in this writing vlog, I'm going to be getting started with the writing of the second novel in my epic fantasy series. Having recently just finished with this outline, I'm very much ready to write this book. However, I'm a little bit nervous about this process for three reasons. One, I am doing this as part of my novelist apprenticeship challenge, and in order to keep on schedule with that, I need to finish this in one month. Two, this is going to be an epic fantasy novel, of course, so it's going to be over 100,000 words for sure. And three, my back still isn't fully recovered, so the idea of sitting up for long periods of time and trying to write sounds very difficult right now. And trying to hit 5,500 words a day was already hard when I was fully healthy, so trying to do this when I'm still recovering from an injury is going to be difficult. But somehow, I'm going to figure this out. And finish this book in the month. So let's get started with this first week of writing. So today I'm going to be starting off with Ella's arc because Ella is the one who I am the least confident about. I like her story. I read through it recently and I thought that it was good, but compared to the other characters, I feel much less confident about Ella's arc. So I would like to write hers first just in case I need to make any adjustments along the way, especially big adjustments. And by getting started on hers first, I'll have this time to actually make those changes if needed. So I'm not really sure how many scenes I'm going to be able to write here, at least five or six. So opening image, all the setup, the catalyst, probably at least into the first debate scene I'll be able to finish today, if not more than that. Let's just get started today and let's ride hit 5,500 words. That is a huge commitment, and I really hope that I can make it happen. Okay, so it is 7.03, but I've only finished 758 words. My back is starting to feel a little bit beat up, so I'm going to take some time to lay down. I'm going to read The Rhythm of War. I finished before they are hanged already, so... That was good. I started on the Rhythm of War yesterday, and I'm going to continue with that here during my little break while I lay down, get my back ready to continue writing. So it is 8.53 and I have reached 2,133 words. Okay, so I was able to write a lot faster during this block. The part that I was writing was a little bit easier, so it flew by a little bit faster here and I have finished three scenes. One of them was like a sequel scene, so it's not quite as long, just a little reaction here. Anyway, I feel like I'm making pretty good progress, although I definitely need another break here for the old back. Pedro would enjoy that line. They okay, so I finished my break, but even now just sitting here for a few minutes, I'm realizing that my back is still in this aggravated sort of state. So I might actually take a little bit of a longer break, maybe another 30 minutes, and see if in that time I can actually recover enough to write for a longer period, like another one or two hours. Hopefully that'll let me get another 2,000 words done, and then I may have a chance at finishing 5,500 words for the day. <laughs> Okay, so it is 11 o'clock and I have gotten to 3,333 words. So I did manage to write there for a nice hour before my back started acting up again. I really want to kind of like baby my back if I can because then maybe it can get back to normal. The way that I've always like recovered from injuries is just by resting completely. So not being able to rest completely is kind of difficult, but I want to try to maximize the amount of rest I can do so that I can make sure that this is getting better and so that I'm actually able to hit my 5,500 words on a daily basis instead of my back getting worse and then me having to take a longer break because I made it worse. So I'm going to take a break right now. I'm going to eat some breakfast and hopefully I'll feel good and fresh and be ready to write for a nice long period. Even after my break, my back was still hurting. So I decided to extend this break even longer in hopes that I'd be able to come back and reach my new lowered goal of 4,000 words. Okay, so it is 3.34 and I managed to get up to the 4,007 words. Definitely wasn't the most productive day I've had of writing before, but considering how many problems I had to deal with as far as the breaks, I think it's actually really good. I do wish that I was able to reach my 5,500 for the day, but honestly, this whole process isn't going to work if I don't let myself recover from this. <laughs> 
I'm back here for day two and I'm ready to write again. Yesterday I left off in the middle of writing the catalyst scene, so I have a little bit more to write in that. I'm gonna start just by reading through some of what I wrote yesterday just to get myself up to speed because I stopped in the middle of some dialogue and I want to remember what the like progression of the dialogue was so I can continue writing it. So today I'm starting in the catalyst about halfway through and I'm gonna write through the debate scenes and then break into two. And I think I'll probably be able to get into at least one of the fun and game scenes, maybe even more than that. Oh yeah, and you notice there's no B story scene because, you know, there's no B story character since there's no B story in these, these characters' arcs since they're the flat arcs. Mercifully, my back is feeling reasonably good, so that's a decent sign. You know, I'll probably be able to work for an hour or two without taking a break at least, but I can't really say what it's gonna be like the rest of the day. I do feel like at least it didn't get worse, so yesterday's amount of work was reasonable, so I think I should be able to do that again today at least. So that's what I'm gonna set as my goal here for the day. I'm gonna at least hit 4,000 words. So I'm starting at 4,007 words here today. Hopefully I get to 8,000 something. Okay, so to 6.32, and I've managed to get to 5,270 words. So good start to the day. I got 1,270 words-ish written so far. So I managed to write all the way to the end of the Catalyst scene, basically. This was a long scene. Like, this scene is no joke. And I actually ended up changing what I was planning on happening in the scene a little bit. I was planning on it ending in a different place with Ella in a little bit of a better position than she is now, but I think it'll be more interesting to have her kind of wallow in this negative state and then end up finding a way to turn it around a little bit before the break into two. So I'm looking forward to getting back into that writing, but my back is starting to feel a little bit tired. So for now, I'm gonna take a break. I'm gonna read the rhythm of war and I will see you in a little bit. Okay, so it is 8.30 and I managed to write up to 6,539 words. So I made some good progress and I was able to write pretty quickly actually. I wrote this entire scene and it was about 1,250 words. So another good one here in the books. And this was actually a fun scene to write because I'm actually thinking about both of the characters' perspectives because one of them is trying to lie and another one is telling the truth and potentially falling into the lie. At least for me, it's really fun because I can imagine what the reader would be thinking, especially when the character is initially not trusting of another one. I've noticed when I'm reading books and you start to get this feeling like, oh no, this character is believing what this person is saying. I totally don't trust them. And then, you know, that can just build and build and build until finally you get that reveal where, oh my god, I, they shouldn't have trusted them at all. I knew it. And that's a kind of a fun moment, so I'm trying to build one of those right now. That's all I got for now. I'm going to take that little break, and I'll be back in just a bit. Okay, so it's 1040, and I have written 7,644 words total. Okay, so I just finished the second of the debate scenes. That one was an interesting scene to write. It's definitely different than a lot of the other stuff that I wrote before because there kind of is like this light sort of romantic angle in that scene and I don't write those sorts of scenes very often. It's not like heavy on the romance or anything. It's just like a little sprinkling, you know? So anyway, hopefully that worked out. I'll have to read it back later on and see if it did. But for now, I'm going to take another break because it is already 1040. It's time to eat some breakfast, which will also require me to sit. And then I'm going to be to having a meeting at 12, which will require me to sit again. So I'm going to take the time in between breakfast and that to just lay down and rest as much as I can. And I'll be back later on to continue working on this afterward. Okay, so it is 340 and I've managed to get to 8,433 words. So yesterday, I forgot to share this with you all, but yesterday I hit 818 words per hour with a total of 4,007 words. Today, I managed to write a little bit more. I did manage to hit 1,046 words per hour, which is pretty fast. So yes, the writing for the day went pretty well. As you can see, I wrote very quickly and I enjoyed writing these scenes today. I feel like some of the scenes weren't so tight where you start right at the goal, then the conflict, and then the unexpected outcome basically, and that's the end of the scene. And these, I think it was a little bit more, I had a first part that occurred a little bit earlier that was kind of the setup, like leading up 
and building tension throughout the scene and then ending with the unexpected outcome. And I think these longer scenes are actually a good thing. In some cases, you know, I think it is nice to build this tension throughout the scene. And I've definitely noticed that in Joe Abercrombie's writing and Brandon Sanderson's writing, especially toward the end of his books. So that is a good thing for me to be focusing on and trying to include more of. But I also think it's important to keep the scene to what is needed for the scene to actually function and not have a bunch of extra stuff included that's not really adding to it. So there's definitely a balance there. The main reason I stopped is because my back is starting to hurt. I've been sitting quite a bit today already, so I definitely need to take a break and start laying down for as long as I can the rest of the today. I actually think what might be smart to do is just put like a time box on the amount of time that I'm sitting total for the day. So for instance, I could just do four hours sitting total for the day and spend the rest of the time laying. Today, I was only a little bit over four hours total and I still managed to write over 4,000 words. So if I do that, I could still hit my 4,000 words probably and it would give me the majority of the time in the day laying down, which could help me recover faster and be ready to continue writing at full speed like normal. So I'm thinking that I might start doing that tomorrow. What's going on? I'm back here again for day three and today I'm going to be implementing the plan that I talked about yesterday. Basically I'm going to be writing for four hours total to basically save my back and give myself more time to rest and hopefully improve my condition. So I'm starting with the fun and games and I have a lot of fun and game scenes to write so I probably won't be able to get, well I definitely won't be able to get through all of them today. There's eight of them and I'm probably going to be able to write four or five scenes total. So let's just get started and see how far I can get. Okay, so it's 6.05 and I managed to get up to 9,481 words. So although at first glance it does appear that I wrote a thousand words here, I actually ended up writing pretty slowly today. I was having a difficult time with just figuring out what was going to happen in the scene and it kind of slowed me down. I had to take some time to figure it out. It was a little bit of a slow day for the writing right here, but I did manage to get through a thousand words at least so far, so that was good. But hopefully during my next session, I'll be able to write a little bit faster. As usual, I'm going to take a break right now because my back is definitely feeling tired. So I'm going to lay down here and I'm going to read and then I'll be back to continue with some more writing. Okay, so it is 8, 12, and I have managed to get to 10,352 words. As you might have noticed, that is 900 or so words rather than actually being a thousand. And I think what I've noticed here is that some of Ella's scenes just don't have enough meat to them. I think the problem is that between Ella and Lucian, I was trying to spread out the scenes. And since I plotted Lucian first, I gave him a lot of these action-based scenes, a lot of the event-based things. And then for Ella, I felt like I didn't really have as many to give to her because if they're experiencing all of these action-based scenes one after the other, it just feels like this whole trip is a disaster. <laughs> and I think I need to go through and I need to read through some of these fun games scenes again in Ella's arc and just rework them and try to beef them up a little bit and make them more substantial so that there's actual like real tangible changes occurring. Even if it is just a character conflict, that there's some sort of tangible shift in the way that things were at the beginning, all the way till the way that they ended up at the end. Okay, so I was just looking into Ella's scenes in the fun and games, and I actually do think that the fun and games has some consequences to it after that beginning point. I think it's just that the first three scenes, I didn't manage that well. I was trying to accomplish various things and really set things up for events that occurred later in the fun games. But I feel like there might need to be another component to these scenes to give them something else to focus on, because right now they feel a little bit light on substance. As far as the other scenes, since they are what was actually being foreshadowed, they're much better than the three that I was looking at in the beginning, the three that I just worked on. So I'm just gonna continue writing the fun and games actually because I think the next scene is going to be a pretty juicy one. Okay, so it's 11.05 and I've gotten to 11,349 words. And today was a definitely a slower day of writing. 
I only managed to get 729 words per hour for a total of 2,916 words. Largely, this was because of the problems I was talking about before. The scenes felt like they didn't have enough substance, so I was having trouble actually writing them. It wasn't like they were flowing very easily. Contrast that to the scene that I was just writing. This scene that I was just working on and the previous scene were both pretty tense. Because of that, these two scenes were much easier to write. So overall, I did write pretty low amount for me for the day, and I really wish that I had at least gotten over 3,000, but when I saw the time had already gone over four hours, I realized that I just need to stop because I'm the whole point of what I'm doing with this four hour thing is trying to recover and it's easy for me to just keep pushing it and pushing it and pushing it to try and reach some sort of word count goal that's satisfying to me. But if I was honestly trying to do that, then I would just keep going until 5,500. It was a good day of writing still and I'm very excited to continue this scene that I was writing right now because it is probably one of the coolest scenes in Ella's story. So I'm excited to get back to writing it tomorrow. Okay, so I'm back here for day four, and before I get started on talking about what I'm going to be doing today, I just want to touch a little bit on yesterday because it was a good reminder for me once again of the fact that if you're having trouble writing a scene, if it's flowing really slowly and you feel like you're blocked, you probably need to rework the scene. <laughs> Something to keep in mind for me and potentially for you as well. Okay, so now let's move into what we're going to do here today. Yesterday I left off in the middle of the fifth of the fun game scenes and I'm going to start off with continuing that one. That is a really intense scene. It should be a really interesting one to finish and I might be able to write all the way to the midpoint for today but we'll see what happens with that. And once again today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be limiting my time here writing to four hours. So it is 624 and I managed to get to 12,107 words. You may have noticed that that was only like, what, 800 or so words? And that's because this scene was actually really hard to write. <laughs> but it wasn't really hard to write from like a writer's block perspective. It was a tough scene because it was kind of messed up and I was trying to figure out all the like how it would happen in a way that actually made sense and I had to do a lot of empathizing and trying to put myself in the perspective of somebody that I've never been before so it was difficult to try and capture that. So I'm gonna take a break because I definitely need it for more than just my back right now. Okay, hmm, I'm not sure about this here. I think that Ella's story is kind of broken and I'm having trouble going through and just fixing little things here and there. So I'm thinking maybe what I'm going to do, and this is not ideal obviously, but I might take some time to just re-brainstorm from scratch Ella's outline and try to figure out like what could happen. Try to figure out some of these what ifs and see if I can tie it into Lucian's story because I still would like to tie it into his ideally. But given where I am right now, like I don't see this getting better really. And I don't think that it's working. So I figured out up until the midpoint what happens with Ella in her arc. And I think this is more interesting. I literally just brainstormed for an hour straight. And all I did was think about what ifs and just keep asking what if, what if. What if? And <laughs> eventually I worked some stuff out. And I just wanted to note one thing here because in the past I have said that I don't really like stopping writing midway through a story and I would prefer to just push through it and, you know, get to the end. But part of the reason why I didn't do that this time is one of the benefits of pushing through it is that you might not understand the characters that well the first time you write through. And by just writing all the way through, you get a better understanding of the characters. But since I already understand Ella reasonably well, having written an entire story about her already, that justification isn't really that valid. So I'm going to take a break here because first of all, my back's getting tired. And second of all, I need to eat something for breakfast. It's already almost noon. I haven't eaten breakfast. So I'm going to stop and do that. And I'll be back to write in just a little bit. Okay, so I just finished going through and came up with some pretty cool events. I already kind of had the seeds of one of them in the last version of this, 
but I think the way that it came about is so much better in this version. And I'm specifically talking about the finale. Basically, there's this ability that she was working on developing over the course of the entire book. She gets to use it to a large degree in the finale, which will be very fun to write. That is where I am here for the day. I did not write that much because I only wrote for a little bit before I realized that this was not working. But I did make good progress on redoing this outline, really going back to basics of the Ella's arc and trying to figure out how I could make it better. So tomorrow I'll be back to continue with the re-outlining of Ella's arc. <laughs>
what's going on? I'm back here for the final day of the re-outlining of fixing Alice Ark. And for some reason, last night, I really just didn't get that much sleep. I had trouble going to sleep initially. Then I fell asleep for a little bit here on the couch. Then I ended up waking up from that kind of abruptly, and it messed up with the rest of my sleep for the night. However, I actually feel strangely alert right now, so I'm going to take advantage of this energy and get to work. All I'm focusing on right here today is finishing up Ella's re-outlining. I've got all the beats figured out generally, but I need to go in and create scenes. So we're going to be creating the scenes from the midpoint all the way to the end of the story. So I just outlined all of the bad guys clothes in scenes. These are looking so much better than they were last time. So I am very excited to be writing this version next. However, I still need to outline some more. So let's continue with the All Is Lost. Okay, so I just finished outlining the All Is Lost as well as the two Dark Knight of the Soul scenes and the break into three. So it is time to get into the finale and then the closing image. Let's do it. Save it. So I have finished the re-outlining. I'm ready to get back into Ella's art and start writing again with this new and improved version of the story. It is just so much better and I am very happy that I came back and did this, that I stopped midway through. Now the only challenge is that I have to somehow write these remaining three character arcs in three weeks to reach my goal of finishing this in a month. Overall, I do feel like I'm getting pretty close to being recovered from the injury. I mean, I do need to take breaks still, but my back seems to be able to handle a larger amount of time sitting, an hour and 30 minutes to two hours now, but I do want to make sure that I'm still minimizing the amount of time that I'm spending every single day. And this presents a unique challenge because I want to make a lot of progress. I want to be writing a lot every single day and I want to allow myself to continue recovering. So what I'm planning on doing is finally tackling that video, that 2K to 10K video, where I'm experimenting with the techniques from that book and trying to see if I can learn to write faster using these techniques so that I can spend my four hours and still get 5,000 plus words written every single day, which will allow me to make the progress I need to finish this book on time. So look out for that one next because that is what I'm gonna be doing next week. And I'm curious, have you ever had to deal with an injury while writing one of your stories? How did you get through this? How did you continue making progress? Let me know in the comments below. And also make sure to smash that like button so that YouTube knows to share with other writers like you. And if you want to see what the process was like when I was writing the first book in the series, make sure to watch this video next. Ooh. I don't know where that one was going. <laughs> so let's just try and see. Yeah. What the heck? Um, one sec. My keyboard was in Japanese mode. I was like, I looked on Word. I was like, why the heck does it say Japanese? Okay, anyway. 